This your girl, Aina Brion. And today, I want to talk about pros and cons, right? I noticed that a lot of people use this system when they're gauging if they should continue entertaining a person or not. And I want to challenge you to do it different. A lot of us, we write down the pros, write down the cons. All right, bam, the pros outnumber the cons. So we like, okay, we choose to move forward with that person. I challenge you to weigh them against each other. How heavy does those cons feel? Because even if those pros outnumber the cons, those cons can outweigh those pros. That's what I want you to look at. How does it weigh on your spirit? How does it weigh on you mentally, emotionally? How does it weigh on you? Because that's what you need to start looking at. Not the numbers, but the weight. And a lot of us don't even notice, like, those pros, it's not even consistent. Like, the good in a lot of our situations don't even be consistent. The bad, quote-unquote, is probably the most consistent, but we will stick around long enough because those goods feel so good when we get it. We will stick around and deal with that just to get a hit, a little hit of that. <laughs> we don't even realize how inconsistent those pros are. We know they there, and we able to write them down because they feel good when we get them. But is it worth dealing with those cons? And I want you to ask yourself that. I want you to evaluate all your situations and weigh it. Don't look at the numbers. Look at the weight, the feeling. How does it feel? And those, the weight don't even come in numbers. <laughs> the weight comes in feeling. You can't even see those numbers, but you can feel it. Do that, man. This is our life. It's up to us, right? So we got to take, take good care of our spaces, man. Take good care of our spaces. Everybody is not welcome. Everybody do not deserve you. So that's just what it is. That don't mean that they're not deserving. They're just not deserving of you, okay? Y'all have a beautiful day. Just something to think about. But you know what? Before I make this exit, let me read this post that I made on Instagram. I'm going to leave y'all with that. It says, we have a choice in how we respond to our experiences. The victim mentality will put you in a constant state of giving your power away. My life is my responsibility. And since I have zero control over others in life's happiness, I must control how I respond. I don't desire to be in spaces where I have to walk on eggshells, constantly defend my character and intentions, babysit feelings, change my truths to align with others, tolerate it and not celebrate it, shade it so others can brighten themselves up. In spaces I feel disrespected. Even when someone's pros are number their cons, their cons can still outweigh their pros. It's time to do some spring cleaning. Spring is here. It's approaching, it's here, whenever y'all see this. Spring is here, man. This is the real new year. This is when you water things and give birth to things. It's time for a cleanup. Start gauging different. Start using a different measuring system, all right? When it comes to the people you choose to entertain. They're a reflection of you. Have a good one. Oh, wait. Y'all know I wrote a self-help book, right? Aina's Keys to Personal Freedom is available on Amazon in all forms. Ebook, paper book, audio. Um, you can also get it off Apple Books as well. So I would love y'all support. And I appreciate y'all.